Welcome back to our channel and for today's video, I'm so excited to film this one guys kasi finally, mare-review ko na rin, magkakaroon na rin ako ng first impression, demo, review, and side-by-side -side comparison of the most coveted, most awaited, at talagang sold out lagi, inaabang-abangan, na essential eye set collection na walang iba kundi si Miss... And clothes right there, as you can see, sa aking foreground. Um, actually, I'm so kilig nung natanggap ko yung package kasi she sent two of her brush set collection. Of course, yung unang-una yung kanyang essential brushes. And then this one right here in the gold packaging and her name in front, it says Anne Clutes. And ang cute-cute din yung zipper, guys, kasi may design. Talagang pinag-isipan ni Miss Anne lahat ng details nitong kanyang eye set collection. I really love this collection, guys. Ito yung na-create kong look using these brushes. And hindi kayo maniniwala kasi magkaibang brush set ang ginamit ko sa left and right eye. Pero parang pareho lang ng kanyang itsura. So, mamaya na yan later on. So, I'm going to give you my first thoughts of the brush set. First, of course, I really love how it comes with a very, very nice pouch bag. Very, um... Uh, useful when you're packing away things, especially when you travel and when you have gigs para sa mga makeup artists. Nagamit ko na kasi yung brushes, guys. Pero, meron siyang mga plastic. It comes with the plastic, so it's really protected while it's on our way to you. So, andito ba yung mga plastic niya, guys? As you can see, tinanggal ko siya kanina. Kasi nga, first time ko talaga siyang binuksan and talaga na-excite ako. And of course, ito ang pinakamahalaga, guys. Ang brushes sa loob ng pouch. Merong sampung brushes, guys. So, ayan. Lahat siya para sa ating eyes. And I really love this color kasi napaka-classy. Napaka-sophisticated. Tignan ng color. I don't know. It's like purple gray and then the text or the label is gold. So, it's if makikita siya, sana makita. Pero it has a label in there. It says here, E07 flat shader. And then her name at the other end right there. So, ayan. Hindi ka na mahihirapan tumingin dun sa uh, kung may kodigo ka man, kung beginner makeup ka, makeup artist ka, or parang wala lang like me na parang mahilig lang sa makeup. Hindi ka na mahihirapan tumingin. Ano ba tong brush na to? Para saan ba to? Kasi meron na siyang label right there. That's so smart. I really love this idea, Miss Anne. Sa loob, meron din siya nito. Oh my God, social na talaga. Taba nga si John Ray. Umiibang level na si Miss Anne. Meron na siyang barcode dito. And of course, her social media handles. Ay, baliktad pala. Ayan. Her social media handles, of course, her email, Instagram, and on Facebook, her logo, and hashtag Anne Klutz Brushes right there. So, ayan, it comes with that one. Actually, guys, for this video, it's not going to be just a first impression review and demo. I'm going to compare these brushes side by side with my most favorite brushes. Some of them, 10 years ko nang ginagamit sa pag makeup. And then, kukunin ko na siya dito sa aking tabi. And these are these brushes. Actually, apat lang naman siya. Yung kukumpare ko. Kasi, nakita ko talaga yung similarity niya dito sa apat din sa brushes ni Miss Anne. And these are my MAC um, I sh I am um, collection brushes and this is the Anastasia for the brows naman. So, ayan. So, ayan ang comparison ko for today. Um, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung performance nung brushes ni Miss Anne and my favorite brushes from MAC and Anastasia side by side doing my makeup. So, let's get started. On the right side, I'm going to use Miss Anne's brushes and on the left side, my high-end brushes naman. So, we can see the performance. Kasi, nakita nyo na yung physical itsura nila. They're almost the same, right? They're almost the same. So now, sa performance naman natin sila, ikaw compare. So I'm going to start with my transition color. And I'm going to use this palette from Makeup Revolution. This is Reloaded Iconic Vitality. Such amazing colors inside. This one was sent to me by Sis Kizzy. Her Instagram account is House of Kisel. I'm going to put the link down below as well. So let's get started. On the right side, I'm going to use Miss Anne's E03 Tapered Blender. Ayan. And then on the left side, my MAC 222. I'm going to take this light brown right here for my transition color. Gustong-gusto kong gamitin tong MAC na to actually guys. Whenever, if papanoodin nyo yung mga previous kong makeup tutorials, nung may makeup tutorials pa ako before, I really love using this for my transition color kasi talagang um, precise yung application niya dun sa pinaka-hood ng aking lids. So... 
Wala pa akong nakikitang eyeshadow brush na pumantay dito. Pero I'm so excited to use the tapered brush of Miss Anne kasi grabe. The feel of the brush bristles are the same. The itchura is the same. Now it's Miss Anne's brush. Time to shine. I'm going to dip it on the same color of transition. Pansin ko, it picks up a lot of color ha. Kahit isang dip pa lang, it picks up a lot of color which is a good thing. I'm just gonna tap it off for the excess. Using it for the first time, guys, it feels almost the same as the MAC one. Yung lambot ng bristles niya and the performance, it's almost the same. As you can see. Ngayon naman, magalagay na tayo ng color sa ating lids. My favorite brush ever to put colors on my lids is this MAC 217. It's a flat shader brush. Wala lang, parang napapack lang yung talaga ng color yung aking lids with a little application and wala masyadong fallout. Let's see kung paano lalaban ng bonggang bongga ang EO6 shader brush ni Miss Anne. Because ayan, halos pareho talaga sila. I'm just going to get this color right here. Put it all over my lid. As you can see, konting ganun pa lang nag-apply na talaga yung product. This is what I love about this brush. And I'm really, really excited how the EO6 shader brush from Miss Anne's collection will perform against this one. Moving on on the right side of my eye, nagamitin ko na yung flat shader brush ni Miss Anne. As you can see, nilagyan ko na siya ng eyeshadow. I-apply na natin siya sa aking lids. Like the MAC one, wala rin siya masyadong fallout. So, ang ganda niya. Kasi marami mga brushes dyan na ang ganda nung, ano niya, nung feel niya sa kamay pag ginanon mo. Pero pag in-apply mo na, ang daming nahuhulog. So, makalat siya. So, this one is not. Mukhang magpapahinga na ang aking MAC 217. For the longest time that I've been using it, I bought that one 2008. So, 10 years ko na siyang brush. Ang maganda lang talaga dito, sobra tibay niya. See, 10 years old na to guys, pero ganito pa rin ang itsura niya. Mukhang makakapagpahinga ka na, baby, kasi meron ka ng twin sister sa katauhan ng EO6 shader brush ni Miss Anne. And now we're going to put some colors in her crease. Uh, ang panglagay ko sa aking crease before is yung e.l.f. na parang crease brush. Or itong Jessop ko na Lux Petit Crease 231. Favorite ko siya kasi maliit yung applicator niya. Saktong-sakto lang sa aking crease area. Ang pinakakatapat nito sa eye brush collection ni Miss Anne is itong EO4 Rounded Blender. Kita nyo, manipis din siya. Saktong-sakto lang dun sa size ng aking crease area. Medyo maliit kasi yung pinaka-lid area ko. So, kailangan ko talaga medyo on point para hindi siya magkakalat. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin natin sa parehong mata since wala naman ako compare sa kanya na talagang favorite na favorite ko unlike yung the first two brushes that I used. So, what I'm going to get is this berry shade here. And this is from the Reloaded Neutrals Palette from Makeup Revolution. can blend really well on the crease area nang walang sumasabog. Kasi yung ibang mga round blender brush, masyadong sabog yung bristles niya. So, kumakalat pa taas, which is I don't like kasi nga maliit yung mata ko. So, I have to keep it in a minimum dun sa area lang na yun. my crease a little bit darker than it is right now. So I'm going to get this black shade from the Iconic Vitality palette and just blend it a little bit on the outer crease. Something darkness lang para hindi siya masyadong red na red. Oh my gosh, ang ganda nitong brush na to talaga. Kita nyo, hindi ko malat yung black eyeshadow. Kasi usually kapag nagdadagdag ako ng darker shades sa aking crease, hirap na hirap akong tanggalin yung kalat niya sa outer part. Pero ito, it stayed right there. Ayan, tapos na tayo sa crease color. Ako talaga, after ko maglagay ng color sa aking crease, gusto kong balikan yung aking lids and put a little bit 
of color pa dun sa gitna. So, I really need a small, um, like a packing brush para itatap ko lang siya dun. Tapos, it will stay there para mas magpop yung aking mata. And ito talaga yung favorite kong gamitin. This is the a MAC brush. Nabura na yung label niya. Wala na siya, guys. Sa sobrang tagal kasi 10 years na siya. Pero I believe this is MAC 220. And I really love using this one dahil talagang nagsistay yung kulay niya. Sa kanya walang fallout. Hindi ko makalat. So, I'm going to take this color right here. On the right side naman, I'm going to use this brush from Miss Anne's collection. This is the E07 Flat Shader. So, ayan siya. These are the two side by side. Ang difference lang nila itong sa MAC is medyo mas matigas yung bristles niya. Mas packed together uh, compared to the one from Miss Anne's eye collection. The only difference that I noticed is that mas kumukuha ng konting, mas konting pigment lang naman yung MAC um, flat shader brush compared to this one. Pero it's okay, you can just go back to the palette and add some more if you'd like. Next step, I'm going to clean up the crease. I'm going to use this matte um, cream color and use the EO2 flat blender and just brush it off. Kasi nire-ready ko na rin yung aking um, um, brow bone kasi magkikilay na tayo. Just colored. Cool. Ayan. Ngayon naman, magkikilay na tayo, guys. I'm going to use this pomade from Anastasia. And, of course, I'm going to use two brushes again to compare it. I'm going to use Miss Anne's E01 Liner Brow Duo and my Anastasia Brow Brush. So, pareho sila ng itsura, guys. Meron silang pang drawing on the other end and a spoolie on the other end. So, this is how it looks like side by side compared to each other. So promising, di ba? So ang napansin ko lang na difference nilang dalawa, guys, is, if you can see that, ayan, medyo mas matigas ng slight yung sa Anastasia compared dun sa bristle nung eyebrow brush nung sa eye essentials ni Miss Anne. But, of course, manalaman talaga natin ang kanyang palaban powers pag ginamit na natin siya sa ating mukha. So I'm going to start with, of course, the first one first is the Anastasia brush. So, let's get rolling, guys. To brush the hair lang para hindi siya kalat-kalat. So, yeah. let's start. Wish me luck, guys. So, I'm going to shape my brows now. So, since matigas yung bristles nitong kay Anastasia, parang I feel like it's easy to draw yung pinaka-fence nung brows. And then, ishishade ko na lang siya. Kasi hindi naman ako mahilig sa Instagram brows na talagang drawing na drawing. Gusto ko lang yung parang natural looking. So, I keep it on a minimum as well. So, ganyan lang siya. And then, kapag na-shape ko na siyang ganyan, tsaka ako aayusin yung dito sa may kabilang end. So, yung natirang product lang dun sa pinaka-brush yung gagamitin ko. To add some more. Kasi kalbo talaga yung kilay ko, guys. Kita nyo naman, just me, wala sa ayos. So, Kailangan talaga siyang ayusin ng kaunti. So, ayan guys. Ganyan lang yung gusto kong itsura ng brows ko. Mukhang natural lang. And then, I'm just going to brush this end right here para mas faded siya ng kaunti kesa dun sa dulo. Okay, so we're done with the left side. Now, susubukan na natin ang galing ng E01 Brow Liner Duo ni Miss Anne. May product na siya dun sa dulo. Dinip ko na siya. So, I'm just going to do the same technique lang. Lalagyan ko muna ng fence dito sa side na to. You can see, wala masyadong product na na apply kasi mas malambot nga yung bristles niya. So, I guess, mas kailangan ko pa siyang idot-dot ng kaunti dun sa pomade para mas marami siyang uh, makuhang produkto. So, ayan. Let's try this one more time. Ayan, it's so much better now, guys. So, there you go. Parang ganun na rin yung itsura niya. Parang yung sa Anastasia. Ayusin ko lang yung sa my right side. Ang napansin ko, it takes a little bit more time to fix the brows using this E01 brush from Miss Anne's Eye Collection. But, lumalaban din siya, guys. 
yun nga lang, you need to be more careful plus it takes more time and get more product so you can achieve the same effect. Ngayon naman, maglilinis tayo ng ating kilay area and so wala ako ng concealer ng konti. And what I love actually about this eye essential collection from Miss Anne is because meron siya nitong maliit na tuo, nung smudger brush, Ethan. Perfect na perfect kapag naglilinis ka ng yung kilay kasi talagang maliit siya at talagang ma-apply mo siyang mabuti doon sa pinaka-pinaka-pinaka-pinaka-dulo. Kasi kung medyo mas malaki siya, makalat siya, di ba? Parang messy tignan. So, I really love this brush kasi matagal na ako naghahanap ng smudger brush na ganito kaganda na on the budget side. And finally, I have one kasi nga hindi ako kagalingan sa pagkikilay at pagkaganiters. Pero tignan nyo naman guys. Yung difference ng dalawa, tumaas agad yung brow bone ko because of this technique. So, linis, linis. Right there. Sobrang precise nitong brush na to. I love you so much, Ethan. Grabe. So, ayan, dito naman tayo sa taas. I'm done with my brows. Finally, I'm going to put some eyeliner on and I'll be back. I'm done with the eyeliner sa aking upper lid. Sa lower lid ko naman, I'm going to apply the same berry red and the black shade that I applied on my crease sa aking bottom lid. And I'm going to use this E09 pencil brush. Ganda nito kasi kompleto talaga siyang pang eyes, guys. As in, lahat ng kailangan mo sa mata mo na sa eye set na ito. You don't need to reach for other brushes anymore. I'm starting off with the red shade first. And then the black one to follow. To darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going to use this angle shader which is E08 to clean it up a little bit. mo ahakalain na magkaibang brush ang ginamit mo sa magkabilang mata. Although, hindi naman lahat. Pero, yung pinaka-basic kasi na kailangan-kailangan mong brushes. Um, medyo high-end yung ginamit ko sa left, di ba? And then, on the right side is the eye essentials brush set ni Miss Anne. So, caring carry pack na pack. And I'm just going to um, sweep off the uh, baking powder that I put in earlier using the Anne Clutes brush din. Yung kanyang pinakamalaking brush from her um, first collection. Nagagawa ko rin ng review soon. So that's it guys for our video for today. Tinapos ko lang yung aking makeup para matino naman ang itsura ko pag ginawa ko yung outro ng video na to. My, um, last thoughts or my final review for these brushes is that sobrang sulit siya guys. Because you have 10 great brushes na mabibili. And parang kulang pa yata. Yung price nito, ng isang set na to, is kulang pa to buy one of these brushes. So, oh my god, goodbye to you and hello to my Anclus brushes because I'm gonna love you forever. Makakapagpahinga na yung mga 10 years old kong brushes dahil sa'yo. Miss Anne, thank you so much for sending me your brushes. I really love them. And yung review ko, very honest talaga siya from a non-makeup artist, a makeup lover like me lang. So, ayun guys, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa video natin for today, my mermaids. Please comment down below if you have questions or any suggestions or meron kayo reactions sa ginawa kong review. And of course, thank you so much for spending time with me, for watching my videos, and as always, I love you all and God bless. Bye!